Hey folks, welcome back to Ostrov. In case you're wondering, this is the view of our town from the place where they first enter the map. Yep, that's, we can see something right there. And I think that's a house. <laughs> All right, so this, yeah, we're, we need to eventually work this road right through here. And all the way down the bottom of our fields. And, nope, wrong. Turn just to the tree line. That's right. Come on through like this. And I'm still building benches and knocking trees down, but it's getting there. Little by little, we're carving a pathway through the wilderness. This guy needs to go. Yep, he needs to go and... I think I've got these flagged as well. Kind of open us up a little bit wider. Yeah. Anyway, so what is happening today? I sometimes just look at my all my, my little uh, blueprints here to remind myself what I was doing. We've got all of our, of, of these houses laid out. We've got five of them? We've got five of them in there. Okay. And those will happen eventually. Right now... We're building this little area right here, what we're calling the central granary. And I got to thinking as I was in between episodes or after last one finished, the two small granaries here make these two redundant. But can these folks over here still sell over to here? Maybe. But just in case not, and to provide two more jobs for a couple of ladies, I decided to set up two more small granaries out over here. Then we'll take these, we'll get rid of these. So these guys will guarantee they can collect from all the houses in this area. These will take from all of the granaries. In fact, we can undo that from here. And soon this will be the one that's grabbing everything. And then... <clears throat> These two over here, I'm hoping, can reach there. So that they're grabbing, you know, this whole area and into here. And we'll see. Once this is done, I can go ahead and speed things up. Once this is done and the others have been disabled, everything is heading toward this direction. And there is nothing in any of these that are closer so that this is the closest point. I'll go ahead and build a market stall and see if they can get anything from it. Out of curiosity, I might, if we can employ it, might build another market stall and see if we can grab anything from it and just kind of play with some distances around here and see how this really works. We'll do a little more experimenting. Otherwise, we've got a, yeah, you right there and a warehouse. So I'm going to pull this warehouse out, kind of clean this entrance up a little bit. And maybe make the pathway come on up into here, different different ways around here. We've got this space over here, so I've got two other warehouses set up in there. One to grab the salt and brick that's just sitting around, you know, needing a place to go. And the other one for charcoal. Because I want to pull these charcoals out of here, off the shoreline. There aren't as many places available now that will except the smeltery I can get and I don't know how many smelteries I want to do if we want to make this more of an industrial area and make it look like it with a couple of different smelteries in here I kind of need this space back because this is where it needs to be one here and we're just kind of it doesn't fit in here you can see it's still red we can get one here but it's at a weird angle if I get out to about here, that looks pretty good. And maybe one... No, that's where it ends, right there. So if I put one there, one in here, and one in... Oh, somewhere in there. Then we have three smelteries to go. Don't know that we're ever going to employ all those. Don't know who buys the iron and will it be like the salt. In that um, we can make more salt than we know what to do with, but they only buy a certain amount and then they're done so we've slowed down the salt production we may be slowing down the iron production too but if we want to try to cause this 
this island to be an industrial area, then I'm going to need to double up on, a, on the few industrial buildings we actually have available to give it that look. Whether we're employing them or not, they'll, they'll look good. And I can't do it anywhere to this, to upriver of that water uh, platform. Because the fishing needs access at least to here. And unless we, well, I don't want to get rid of the fishing. This is a fish supply for this community. Over here could be a fish supply for this community and, and what have you. You can even get, you know, fishing out over here, which works its way into the community. But we can't get boats to go beyond this guy. So it's going to have to be this side of the river. So these need to leave. And one of the pro, you know, predominant uses for it was the lime kiln, which is nearing its end as far as, as how many times we're going to be refilling it. So we won't need to do a lot of that. We will use it a lot for bricks, which there's already two charcoal kilns over there anyway, charcoal pits, piles, piles over there and pottery is probably going to need some don't know where pottery pottery would probably end up over here in fact we could even move bricks back out over here just to uh just to make the place look you know a little busier industry wise or we could add a second one i don't know we'll see Maybe we might do something entirely different up in here someday but at the moment there's our clay and there's our our bricks so you know, uh, pottery could be over there. Anyway, um, what else? So th and then the two small granaries out over here. And then, nope, oh, wrong one. Did I turn you off? No, you're darker. Why are you darker? There you go. And then you are the gazebo. So eventually get that one going so we can see it go in. Cart parking over here. I threw another cart parking into this area. We got rid of the one that was here, and that was a bench. <laughs> yeah, I, a bunch more benches are, are being uh, installed, which means trees are being taken down. But a cart parking there. We got another cart parking over here. So that gives us our eight of them for this area. I would love to put it right here, but it absolutely will not build. The, the terrain is just too much. But it, it would make sense to put one right in there, but it wouldn't let me. Small granary is completed. Okay, slower down. Let's come over here and move these settings forward. And you... For now, let's open it up. Apply to all. And just get things moving around around the map so and let's manually turn these guys on so we can see this happen okay and you're going to be take from others you two are not you two never were and you two over here never were so we should start drawing uh yeah right there and there from all these other ones except for the buckwheat that we manually put in we should start drawing everything into here um now from what i read let me see, let me see that again <clears throat> buy from local producers when the button is colored locals will bring okay the relative price you can click on set resources automatically fill the list with uh, respectively resources available in town and which or those which can be bought from locals the resources which are already stored in nearby granaries will not be added to the list so i should be able to say do this and nothing comes in because it's all right there that's why i get the feeling that there is a distance issue with granaries so these guys are close enough they you know they know that there's a granary nearby but if I were to, you know, do this, take you all down and you all down, there's nothing being stored in this area. Will these interact with it? So that's already far enough away that it doesn't 
it doesn't uh, sense that there's a, a nearby granary. So I think there are distance issues. I really do. But you can go away. Yeah. And you can go away. And we can... Why do I get the sense of one is in there? Delete. Need to empty first. That's what I missed. Okay. Small granary in queue. I take it you are... Yeah. You can move into right there. And let's go back to here and make empty. Really make empty. And let's hire two workers to get that done. So you guys are going to go through and gather everything. Let's put two workers into each of you to be able to grab whatever is available. Oh, I need to turn these guys on as well. And as we get into next season or next year where we're actually buying from, then we'll be able to populate the rest of this. But at the moment, there are no other items within range. And within range is what I'm worried about. So these were too close. These right here no longer interacted with each other. I mean, yeah, so that I could populate the list. So that distance there is far less than way out over here. So I still question whether or not that house can sell to this granary. That's why I think it would be wise to put these two in. Just to to give us a, a bigger and more, more thorough umbrella of coverage is my thought so you two go away do you two go away do you two go back over here where you came from to ensure that we have good coverage for this whole block you're no longer needed here this idea of a central point is is not happening anymore though you can remain as storage for the salt and for the buckwheat which comes out of here anyway Right, aren't we doing a lot of buckwheat in this? Yeah, buckwheat there and there. And then you're doing the hemp's and the and the flaxes over here. Okay, so you can stay simply as storage. Child is born. You two can go away. And I think relocate. Whether it's in that spot or we continue long term with the idea of a mayor's residence, I don't know. So, but it does need to be somewhere near this market and somewhere near this end of town just in case those guys don't reach the new mayor's house. I think they do, but I really don't have any way to prove it. Not that I can think of. I mean, I was looking at these earlier today. Can anything reach these? I've been told that they will maintain... What was that last one? A warehouse is done. Okay, that they will maintain a hundred food per person living in the household, which means there's the potential of up to 400 food of at least three varieties in order to have a year's supply. And they'll probably tend to want to go out and buy to kind of maintain that. So these folks aren't even trying to sell right now because they don't have enough food to, to max out that 400 or 300 you know, another 400 what do we have here just 200 here so 140 41 42 146 I don't think water counts so 153 162 and 172 for 200 so I can't you know figure out if they're ready to sell to over here yeah so it's, it's hard to know if that's true or not you know it's hard to test those those numbers anyway so did we ever hire we did not we are low on people again it looks like what is with the with our population right now looking for work um three men that's it okay which means they're available as laborers, but they're not doing anything there too. I think it's just going to have to uh, just you know let things happen, get the get the uh, get everything running and let it go, and check on in on them later. So you are 17 logs out of 18, 
and you're working on making firewood which we don't need and all right so we have you let's get you set up as this so set resource slot automatically there's no sense of copy here all right so salt and brick and 5,000 and don't need a worker so long as um, this one yeah so long as laborers can make the deliveries okay um, I think that's okay here I think so unless I just want to get this done we had a worker in this one <clears throat> let's just do it throw in a worker and tear you down so let's make empty so you're going to start moving these things out loading them up, up, up into here and then we'll get rid of you another one's going to build we'll put charcoal into there to start to eliminate charcoal over here so have i got all these set for make empty i think i do they just have nowhere to put it okay and a few tips came in after last episode one i'm surprised i've never even thought to try it uh demolition small granary good you are still trying to delete okay so and they're they're gradually going away over here not ready yet i was surprised because i i went ahead and reactivated not activated but re associated with them thinking that each time i did it would go to the top of the list and so one two three four but still this guy just kind of sat there and stayed up on top i didn't realize you could just grab this and move it around <laughs> <laughs> kind of like your wish list on steam yeah so there's our our order all right that's simple enough and was also informed you're ready you're ready take you down and bring you up to the front and was informed that if i want to move something let's slow down here or they'll do it all for me if i want to move something by cart I was complaining about this last time. And sometimes complaining helps. People uh, you know, fill in the blanks for me. I got to type 1180 to get you to move. Well, it turns out you can just click. Look at that. And then say, move it. What, what am I moving? Lumber. Um, move to the building site. Can you do that? Probably not. Where's another building site? Is it possible to just move to a building site? Um, move to there. Cannot move to this destination. Okay, well, I tried. All right, so you, lumber, move by cart that amount to, I guess that's, this actually would be the closest to then take it back out and start building something. Probably so. Well, not so much closest. Well, it would be closest for the, uh, for the the next ones coming in which are these two over here okay and just to make this all happen can i there you are nails you guys are still going in here right right there we still have nails and there's still a little bit of room over there okay sure spring's coming everything's starting to thaw and there you are cart and move all of you to that one all right so in that case whew, in that case i could just do this yeah why not let's move you to there and let's move uh that was salt or bricks i think it was bricks move yeah i guess it's already done wow um you to there how do those bricks suddenly move like that or now they're all zeros okay they didn't move they just no longer are available to tell to move once again all right so that's going to eliminate that and that'll be done 
or I could also just say, no, I already, already did say make empty good because that'll give me a flag when it's done. Okay, so we're at the end of February and I'm about to start our sewing, which means this one will be available to immediately jump into and sew uh, without needing to plow. And we'll get that hired on hired immediately and I'm thinking I'm gonna get rid of the limit that I had placed 20 get in there and get it done in two days then you're available to go over here rather than trying to split them in half just wipe it out be done with it all right so the other tip that came in had to do with the Burbage plots. I have to rethink that word every time I say it. I have to see it in my head. That's not a, a term that you use very often these days. But we had drawn one over here just to experiment with it. And what the tip was that came in that I thought was real interesting. Let's grab a, any house and we'll run it with a slope. And the design that... Let's see, what is our longest? Right about there. And the design, the original design, we'll call it that way. The, the original intent was something like that. And I was making a comment about, I want to back it up at least a little bit so we can get a crop in the front and crop of the back. Turns out that the sidewalk leading to the house acts as a splitter. And you'll get a crop down each side. So if we have a modified version of that concept with a house at the back instead of the house at the front, then we've got the, the best chance of getting two large crops and giving us a little bit of variety out of it. So that's probably our best version of the uh, Burgage? Burbage? Burbage? Yeah, I've already lost it. That that, uh, that brain cell, I think, just 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 died. Okay, anyway, that might be the, the design we're going for, just to be able to see, or be able to get more food variety into the map. Okay, your thing there, you're plowing. Uh, we should have a second plow. You're on your way down to plow here. Okay, and with these gone... I think I'm going to take this field and bring it down to the bottom of the road as much as it will let me. What is, let's see, if the door's there, or the gate's there, 27. Marifa. We see Marifa a lot. Which one of these is 49? I'm thinking the diagonal. So that makes, let's see, 27, 49, 41. And 47 so 41 we can take you down a little bit more and then shoot across straight uh, yeah okay we'll shoot down to you <laughs> we're already building something and I, I like where that is and I think it does a pretty good job of maintaining this run here although I could come down a little bit further with that where are you you're up in there so we're not gonna build you for a while you might come down a little further. Or was I not able to? Seems like this was real finicky and where it would where it would build. Let's try that. You actually pause and uh, demolish and then copy you. Let that go away. And uneven terrain. Yeah, that was the closest that I could get to the roads about there. So I would love to have gone down a little bit deeper. Unless I go further down the road. Now there's nothing. Yeah, so it's really persnickety. So that was close as I could get against the road. So we're going to have a little bit of a wider road in this area. Unless I come up with something else to, uh, uh, to redirect that. Or maybe it splits and kind of wise right here. Up there and straight across and who knows. Okay, so you're there, and I've lost the order on that one. You were somewhere up in there. We're okay house-wise. Wow, where are we up to 214? And we didn't add any houses. 
We didn't. We set them, but we didn't add any. Went from 200 to 214 just out of babies. Wow. Okay. Interesting. Am I paused? I'm not. Um, dudes. They well, They were really needing that grass, weren't they? <laughs> First blade of grass they found just stopped right there. <laughs> okay. You guys should have planted. So wing. It's just a matter of waiting for... Okay, they're all here, but they're all on their way. Okay, so they've only just gotten there. Whereas these ladies, one of them made it in. You're still, you're plowing, you're plowing, and you are still on your way in. So one lady has been sewing like crazy and got that much done. Okay. Speed you up. That means nobody's over here yet till the plowing's done because you went back to fallow. And you're fallow this time, too. Okay, so we're going to get sunflower and buckwheat. Pretty much every year, there'll be a sunflower and a buckwheat, and then either a potato or a hemp randomly out of that guy. Over here, we should get wheat pretty much every year. Uh, barley, wheat, you're going to be potato, and you're fallow. Okay. So next is this guy. So did we move things over? We're, we're getting there. Okay. You... Let's... Are you doing anything? You're supplying resources. And you're taking a rest. I think, yeah, let's just, let's hire, let's hire these, these up and get them filled. So we can get to our experiment before this episode's over. You are being torn down next. Okay. And not much more, more for me to check out right now. I think you're going away. I think this is all going away. In fact, I already deleted that one. So these materials will be available to grab when it's needed. I think all these buildings are needed to just, just to flush out our island over here and have more variety. And it was brought up and I, I'd already looked at this myself and then just forgot to mention it last time. But we do have the row houses that have the, the archway through it you know, for traveling. And let me spin you around a little bit. That it would be interesting to put it in the pathway of warehouses done of these two bridges. And that would be interesting if this wasn't so wide. I mean, if this could be, like, right in there and then the bridge starts up right after it, that would be interesting. Unless we do one of these here and another one there. Or, like, you know, a path in between. A crossroad. That may be possible. But the pathway... There you are. Just I was just looking at the width of the bridge you know, versus the width of the opening in there. It just seemed strange to constrict it back down then open it back up again like I don't know to me it felt a little like a mistake but I'm also seeing this one building just sticking out there like a sore thumb it's gonna be a whole lot different when this area is built up and it's just one of many buildings in the area so in that case we could almost put you know leave it right there and put another one right up against it and have two pathways which would then look about the same width as the bridge. I don't know. But it's hard for me to, to picture it right now with a blank canvas. Speaking of canvas, that's right. So, the name Bob Ross comes up a lot in this channel. I have no idea why. But, <laughs> just to let you guys know, this is about as close as I'm going to get to a Bob Ross haircut. It's, it's time to get a haircut. So... You know, pretty soon I'm going to be going from, you know, from from Bob Ross here to get back to, you know, Commander Riker. <laughs> it's time to get a haircut. It's getting to where it's a bit unruly. Yeah, I know I'm not going for the perm. Not now. Sorry. About four decades off there. Not going to do it. Uh-uh. All right, so you guys are tearing that down. And... You're, you two are next, just to complete that. You are hopefully collecting. You guys 
are... So I do want to empty these. I really do. So I need more room for honey than this one is going to be able to hold. Not necessarily. Not necessarily. We're not going to see big numbers out of all these other things. So I could say 2,500 honey. Maybe even more. Yeah, I could do that. Then there's plenty. Okay. Um, everything's still happy here? Yep, those numbers are good. Let's just peek around at numbers. What do we have going on over here? We have a batch going on. We have no um, hides waiting. You've got no hides sitting around. You guys are always going to be at 20 but the cattle are the cows are young you know three years is our oldest except for that ox so and the ox is just kind of waiting all right somebody tell me what is the age average or is it specific of the cows before they will just die on their own are there going to be 20 year old cows is that a thing has anybody ever let a cow die of old age or do they always just get slaughtered before that happens so how, at what point should we be thinking about replacing the oxen? Or does the game no longer even calculate or keep track of their age? Are they no longer oxen? Are they now just a tool? Are they now just a plow? And they'll just continue from here on out. I don't know. You gonna grab that? You are. Okay, you go away. So, you go away. Um, do I need to save that four-year-old ox to kind of match another one? Kind of like, you know, not putting a brand new tire across from a worn bald tire on your car. <laughs> or is that ox the next one that needs to go? So, tactics there, please. Thank you. Um, kind of roaming around, just staring at things. This is a neat game. I am enjoying this one. You are what? You're ready to tear down. Let's do just that. Okay. And slow down a bit. I completely blanked out Marifa. Uh, it seems like there was a Dirkachi that showed up in between episodes. And I don't think I ever did anything with that either. So we're going to have to start paying attention to trading again soon. Anyway, you are tearing down. You jump into there and make that happen i think it's going to clean this up a little bit this is just a little this was this was off but these look better more of a yeah it's in line it looks like it belongs to this place from here once that tree goes away we'll have it we'll be able to see it better then the fences along the back side and heading in you need to go away too so let's do i have any more benches in there. I don't think so. I think I did move everything forward. Let's get rid of and I could use anything. I could put a birdhouse right there. But a birdhouse is a lot harder to see. Let's put the bell. The bell's got a bigger body to it. So hold the, the uh, shift. You go away. You go away. And any others that are just driving me nuts. You're probably fine. All these are going to go away. And you're still being cleared out for the orchard. And let's get rid of you. Right there. You can go away. And... That's probably enough for now. I don't know the future of this road. We may force them to go down and then go up the roadway into the town above. And not let them just cut through the woods anymore. I think that's probably more realistic. So just two of you guys and send you over to the group of park benches. Right there. And I'll try and find you and delete you afterward. Okay, any more park benches? No, but there's one's going to go in here real quick. As soon as these guys... I'll probably get off their break. Yep. Okay, so we planted. And we've got our weird graphic issue there. The map must have grids of some kind in the background underneath 
know, underneath all of this. And we're at the edge of a of a plot line of a of a something in the map. And another child is born 2015 or 215, 215 population. That must be that's that's the only thing I can guess what's causing their child is oh, dudes. <laughs> Okay, we have a little bit of a, I don't know, nine months ago must have been uh, some kind of a special event that happened. I tell you, there was some celebrating going on. Okay, so you guys are going to, ah, that's what I was doing. You are charcoal. So charcoal and 10,000. Is that 10,000 or 100,000? That's 10,000. Okay, and one worker. And let's just make it available for anyone to help out and Carter and hopefully we can get all that stuff hauled out of there these guys are supplies for whatever is needed in this area charcoal for selling and just a, another place to store bricks and salt that's somewhat central eventually um, what else now so you're going away and I could lay out except I would love to see some of these dots go away so speed it back up could lay out some of those smelteries um you're burning okay and messenger from Barvinkove. so i think at this point we just shut you down no more refilling it i think so because if i ever decide to move it and it's done i won't be able to unload it to anywhere if that even is a thing once it starts to fill up again with charcoal again. I don't know. Because I, I'm pretty sure. If I, let's just find out. Slow down. You have available. Well, there's another 100. And, so, bench. Okay, so 74, 24. I need 1,500. So, there needs, needs to be another 75, 70 something in here. And there's 35. Yeah, no matter how I look at this, we're 4,000 short from... Three layers of 5,000 limestone. Three layers each. We need 15,000. And we don't have it. Okay, so that is the last of our lime that we're going to make ourselves. Alright, so let's do some trading. You are... We don't need... Well, we didn't need wool or sheepskin. Well, I keep wanting to hit the shift and speed through. You know, some games that let you, let you double time through a map. You're here... Yeah, so we still have 800, and we're fine. So we don't need anything to make more warm clothes. You are here, there. Buying iron, buying lime. I guess buying lime is going to start to become a thing. So let's go ahead and get 1,000 lime coming in and just let it sit there. Deal. We're at 4,400 in the treasury. So you're coming in. Iron, uh, HI 500 iron. Let's bring another 500 in. Let's see. I wish there was a way to clear that out. I click and drag across, and sometimes it doesn't work. All right, so 500 coming in, deal. Glaze, I was told to start stockpiling it, but we're a long way away from making pottery, and we already have a thousand of it available sitting stockpiled already so buckwheat to sell potatoes we have none uh, flour we have a thousand let's sell 500 of it deal and right there flour 500 and sell cheese potatoes sheep hides but that's it okay so we've got these guys. What do we got here? 260 being spent and 75 coming back in. So about 200 to the loss there. But that's the way it's going to be, especially with lime from here on out. All right, so trading is done. How do we go over here? Field, yeah, everything looks good. Let's see. I think it's this direction where we can see the best. About like that. When it get when they get tall. 
bridge going through. How are we doing? We want to do our experiment before October, before September. So that, I guess we could do it right now. I could try to sell peas from somewhere. So these are gone. There are no more markets in this area supplying this. You guys are now feeding out of these two. We're eventually going to be building these next. Okay. And here, we're going to be emptying these and getting rid of them and placing... Let's, let's think about that. You go away just because I can. I kind of feel like this is where... What if we took the fence... I don't know. Yeah, I kind of like the little nook right there that the gazebo's sitting in. Okay. Two granaries over here. Or over here. You go away. Maybe get rid of the V. Get rid of these two. Put one. Huh. How can we get two more market stalls in here? Nah, I guess I kind of like that. There really should be some kind of a fence. That didn't work. Fence. You. Fence. There we go. Nope, didn't work. Copy. Why can I not grab that? There it goes. So, it does seem like you should be... Oh, something like... That. And then... If we were to just continue the line, though I can't tell where I'm stopping. Like that, and then across... Like so. And then delete you. That was the thought, though that is too skinny. And leave this behind. Okay. Where do I put two of these guys? And then get rid of those two, just to get that process going. Then something else could go here. I don't know what. They are a nice looking building to see when you come in, but we've got them here now. Okay. But yeah, those two should go away. I want two more up here somewhere. I still don't know where that is. You guys have definitely got this area available to you. I just don't know what's going on there. I think it's here. I don't know where it is. I don't see a spot that just screams at me, this is perfect. This feels like something else should be happening here. What does it look like? Let's go that route. Actually, it doesn't look that bad. Can I get two of them in there? Yeah. Let's just lay it out see what it looks like. If you went... I mean, it does have a barn look, and these windmills look like they, they, you know, they would match real well. So, if this is a more of a you know, long-term, more of a, of a road that's used, if we shoot through the woods there and start building way out there on the other side and this becomes a more prominent road then it seems like that should be about there and you should be places occupied okay the windmill okay so right oh I see what happened do I no I don't you go away demolish you let's try that again now these are hard to set I notice when I when these build, they aren't where I wanted them to be, because it's counting this roof instead of just giving me the footprint like I was wanting. So I wanted that footprint right there, and I don't want to delete them and rebuild them again. So I'm gonna have to, and the so that's the back of it, the front of it. 
The front's pretty true. It goes straight down, although let's see what that means. Um, there and you. Yeah, the front is pretty true. The posts go down, this is a little space in front of it. Okay, but the back is deceiving. Because it, uh, you know, there's a whole bunch of yellow square there that isn't actually a building. Okay, so let's hit up in here one more time and look at this. We'll set them back in there and, and I'll see if it grows on me. But that is the right alignment. And let's we'll set this one first then. So you're about there. Coming in and shift and click. Next one goes somewhere like this. Looking how it's touching the back of the, uh, the town hall. If I touch the back, then we have a walkway, a better walkway between the... Uh, actually, it won't touch the back because of that... that you know, the, the footprint isn't actually go back that far. So I can come closer and ha know I'll have a walkway behind it. So right there. Okay. So those two there... I think we'll let those build. Whether or not we move this fence around and what have you, I don't know. But let those two build. So I think this is just going to be a granary episode. Um, you move into there and into here. And let's get that little gazebo built just to get it built. Just so we can see it. Alright, so anything else happen? You're done. We'll see those boats here real soon. Um messages there were other things that happened bench granary um baby 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 okay i know the bench popped in somewhere right there sorry <laughs> don't mean to steal it from you but you know yaroslava i see that face in the name yaroslava a lot is it coincidence she does live like right here right she lives nearby, right there. So that must be the same one. Okay. Well, I'm going to kick you out of there. Sorry, but uh, I kind of need to get rid of that. And you. Get rid of you. And any birdhouses? Or bells? Nope. Okay. But little by little, we're going to see our main road start to form through here. I think it's going to start looking pretty good. So now what? We want to speed things up so we can get this guy built and we're tearing something down you are no we're tearing that one down yeah so did you fill you are filling you did not get the memo you didn't either okay so let's just say go ahead and move these these rules forward apply to all okay and now the bench got constructed and deleted. Perfect. And you're next. In fact, you're happening right now. Good. And get that cleared out, and that'll start looking good. We take these two trees out. And yeah, that, that looks so much better. Opening it all up. You're slated for destruction. You are. Got a, a, work, a bench in there. And there's the other one. Good. Before somebody sits on it perfect okay what's happening over here you are 17 logs and okay so you guys are not being cleared out and I have no way to make that happen do I I do I can move you by cart oh okay so get rid of you Send you to... Where's that roof at? Right there. And... You... Move... By cart... To here also. Now, that gets the job done, but it takes the job away from someone else that needed the laborer position. So I hate doing that too often. You know, it keeps a cart carter employed, but they're employed anyway. Um you we are chipping through these this is going on actually a lot faster than i thought it would be we, we had 290 at one time so you know, another 10 episodes and we'll be able to delete that guy with just one person here every other month sort of a thing we are moving the firewood into here and there's none wow we chewed through a lot of firewood 
Okay. So we are in May. And halfway through May, we got May, June. Let's get somebody in there and get him just making firewood like crazy. And hopefully it'll then get stored over to here. Get her filled up. She will actually go and get it. So she is dumping off. Going to drop off her cart. Bench is done. And going to come back home. <clears throat> or work. And then go home. Or are you going to get another cart? You're going to wish you hadn't dropped off that cart. Yeah. Okay. And you're going to go get some more because he has been working like crazy. Just like that. 8,000 firewood. <laughs> 9,000 firewood. Yeah. Okay. So, over here. And you guys are done. Just like that. Delete. Delete. And with that, what else finished? It was a park bench that finished. Okay. And another park bench. Well, if I grab these right now, that wasn't it. And that is... You again? Demolish. And the other one... Yeah, let's find it this way. No, this way. Bench. Bench. Right there. Delete. And... That's it. Any so if it still exists, there'll be an arrow. Okay, so let's go here. Now we could not have sold you salt, so there's nothing else really to sell you or to buy from you. Okay, you're done. And small granary is finished. Let's grab everything we can out of there. You will be hired the same as. All right, so what is something that is not not normal? I need to rethink this. You are. So you are set to the original plans of women only and these months. So let's apply to all, get that established again. Same with you. So they're all doing that now. The only difference is that these two have take from other granaries. Okay, which sent that setting out over here? Okay, uh, gazebo's finished. Okay, good. So, the idea of a gazebo, idea of a central park, or a little park, um, with a chapel in it. What do you guys think of this being all fenced up as one unit? To me, that's starting to feel kind of strange. Should we just fence this little area, leave this open? No fence around it. I don't know. Trees around the back side, but I don't want to do that until I know that uh, we're keeping it. Mm, okay, so that's the look. Give me your thoughts. What would you do to make this look better? What would you do differently? And do we put in the round gazebo instead? Bell post. Del well, let's see it at least. You're right there. Delete you. Uh, grab that bench and delete you. And this tree wants to grow over here. And actually, that's fine, except now's the time to, to quash that puppy and be done with it. You know, they'll instantly drop. So you need to go away. I thought I already got you. Okay, bell post. Put you there and do one there too. All right, so I think I did, and, and it didn't take just like that time. Interesting. So you, yeah, place is occupied. Rotate you around. There we go. Okay, so you drop in to somewhere, like right there and right there. So we're done taking trees down. We are. Okay. Where am I at, by the way? I'm coming near that... Uh, that end of the episode again, aren't I? Yeah. Anything we needed to accomplish? Like, yeah. Let's let's set a market. So slow down, so we can think. So if I were to put in a market stall and then hopefully employ it, that's that's another thing. You now, we could go to the extreme. Can a market stall over here draw from that that granary over there? But we'd never be able to employ this thing in order to do the test. 
I would like to know if we can do it there. So you, I want to do peas, I'm pretty sure. Still lots of peas available. Okay, and can I populate you with anything more? I cannot. Okay, bell posts, all right. So you are going to be employed, and we want to put peas in here. Let's see if that's possible. Oops, what did I just do? Okay, never mind. You don't need to be employed. You need to be applied at all. All right, it is you that need to be employed. Okay, so laborers and anyone, male or female, doesn't matter. Give me a worker to find out if anyone can even hire over here. Should be able to, if somebody in here needs a job. And for the sake of speed, let's give you a temporary, you know, amazing opportunity now, we don't have a bridge in here to test this area. Otherwise, we would be somewhere in here. Though I don't think there's even a question mark as to whether or not a market over here can draw from that. I'm pretty sure they can. And over here... Actually, over here we could test. They wouldn't use the bridge anyway. That's the longer route than just cutting through. So let's go ahead and market stall right over here. And I can't apply to all or I'll mess everything up. So you are just going to be a worker. You're going to be peas as well. And 200%. Okay. Did you hire? You did not. So kick the speed back up again. And see if you can hire. Um, I guess we could do this one more time. So let's market stall over here. And let's peas and worker and 200%. All right, so those are the, the tests. Nobody's hired yet. So June, we may see this experiment complete next episode as everybody gets laid off in August to delete you to oh there we go okay going to work so we're running at two speed we'll see if she's able to go and fulfill that if so then we could row house in this area with a set of stores under it and you are supplying resources. You're going to get peas. Okay, so this area can reach right there. Now, we could further experiment if we wanted to and pick something that isn't in here but might be sitting somewhere else. And I don't know what that would be. It would take a while to make that happen just to see if there's you know an even further distance available. So if... In fact, we probably should do that. If it turns out that there actually is no distance issue for market stalls to granaries, then a central granary right in here for the entire map would actually work. In which case, this whole system would get moved one last time right into here with bridge, 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 and, and spoke out to all the different areas and just make a granary system in here that draws from everybody else. That could work, but yeah, that'll take some more experimenting to verify that. Anyway, I think that's all that I dare squeeze into this one. I've got something I need to get done tonight. So thanks for watching, folks, and I'll catch you later. Bye now.